Hi everyone, welcome back. We have had a quite the day. We started off our day, it was just nice and quiet, made some baked oatmeal, got some work done. It's been kind of just dreary, drizzly today, and it's just been a quiet day. And it's already time to do evening chores. I, I can hardly believe it. We had to move uh, the cat food inside because we've been getting a visitor. You see that hole in there. We had a raccoon trying to get into Pixie's cat food. So I'm trying to put it away. <coughs> oh, I forgot the chickens. Oh no. So I did not realize the chickens were out. I mean, I knew they were out, but it is so not part of my routine. So I dumped some food for the pigs. And now I got a chicken out. I open this. Will you go in? Will you go in? Come on, honey. No, 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 no. Now we got two out. Oh, that didn't help. Whoops. <laughs> well, I was trying to distract the pigs with some pears and some carrots so they could get their feet in here. Not thinking, oh, some chickens are gonna come in. These probably want this water dumped out. I can at least get one bowl. Oh, you're not gonna let me, are ya? Nope. Oh, you guys, dumped over the feed. Who did that? Right in your face. Oh my. So now I've got a couple chickens I need to figure out what to do with here. Pigs are occupied. Maybe I can get them to go in this way. I don't think I'm talented enough to pick you up, honey. Oh, oh, look at me. I'm sorry. Right. You're okay. You're okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I never pick up the chickens. How on earth did that work? Good girl. Good girl, stay calm. <laughs> All right, one more. I think I can do it. Uh oh, boys are coming. Well, I know they'll help me get her in. They might scare her first, though. Hi. Hey, Giovanni, honey. Come here. Can you lift that up, David? Okay. As soon as she's in, shut it. Thank you, honey. Such a huge help. Dumped all that food out for the pigs. Didn't realize the chicken door was open. As bad as I thought it was going to be. You had it open overnight? <laughs> we all make mistakes, I suppose. We probably could have made it a couple more weeks before we got pig feed, um, but Matt's actually going to get it tomorrow. Let's see. You are at such an angle. Can we fix that? actually going to get pig feed tomorrow with his brother. I think they're getting chicken feed too. I sure hope so. Um, our laying hens are pretty good right now, but we will be getting meat birds soon before we know it. Um, we're also hoping to hatch some new laying hens uh, this spring, so hopefully for Easter. <laughs> Pixie. We had salad for supper, so I had the ends of that lettuce, some cucumbers and things for the chickens, so they seem to be liking that. They might be fighting over it a little bit. So we've been letting the chickens out during the day a little more, and they are so so much happier. Usually more eggs. 
Pigs so far haven't been bothering them. And Matt blocked off that door in here so the pigs don't come in here. So he's got just some fence posts there. All right, I'm trying to count as I go, but I feel like I might be off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I was off one. Eleven. Did you find some lettuce? Oh, yeah. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. I counted our hens the other day, and I think we were around 28. Um, might be off one or two, but what was that, 16 eggs? I think that's what I said. So that seems pretty reasonable. So as much as we want it to be spring here, we're nowhere near. Still beginning of March, and although we got a little mud, this is mostly ashen mud. Although we have a little mud, there's still a lot, a lot of snow. Um, snowed last night, somewhere between like two and three inches. And then just this rainy, slushy business all day. And I know that's because it's kind of warm out, so things are melting a little bit. Oh, it's still frozen though. That's stuck. <laughs> but. It is what it is kind of thing. All right, I'm gonna come in the greenhouse because it's been a little bit. I did leave Pixie outside and normally I don't, so we'll see how long that lasts. But I still got these couple seed trays is all we've got going on in here. Um, celery, still pretty damp. Leeks are damp. Onion tray, this is starting to dry a little. This one too. Looks like our onions are gonna need some water. Like all like that. All right, I have to come out here in the morning and get them some water. So I haven't seen anything sprout yet, but Matt's got the heated coil on in here. So hopefully um, that'll help something soon, but this is a really hard part for me. I really, like starting seeds inside for the fact that everything's really predictable. Um, but I'm just trying to trust that they'll come up when they're ready and when um, temperature allows for them to do so and just the environment suitable for them. We still have some carrots in here and I will get those pulled. Um, some seem to be all right, the couple I've taken out um, recently, and then some seem to be almost like hollow. So I'm not sure if there are bugs in there eating them or what was going on, but they don't really seem to have much to them. So it is what it is. Um, again, do I expect to be able to grow in here all winter? No, not really. But it is nice to get that little bit of extra when we're out here. I can hear this water falling. Yeah, it's quite literally making holes in the snow. Little drip drops. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear what you've got going on. If you guys are already growing, not kind of dealing with these super cold temps trying to grow in a cold greenhouse, I'd love to hear more. I'm um, glad you got to see me again. Bye. Mm -hmm.